Hi everybody, um, just a quick video today, um, I haven't been on for about a week, the last video that I put up was just saying that there was going to be no video and then the one, sorry, the one before that was um, pre-recorded, we've all been not very well, I said that we'd all been struck down by that horrible sickness bug and then my son came down with a really really high fever He's fine now, everything's back to normal, he's had a checkup at the doctor, he's had the all clear, and, you know, he's he's fine. It was a bit scary though, um, yeah, so I just, I haven't been on. But I'm back now, I've got some finished items and a couple of works in progress to show you, and a very small yarn haul, very small for me. Um, I have not buyer's regret, um, I don't think I bought enough. So the op I don't know what some sort of regret. I guess that's buyer's regret, but like the opposite. But anyway, so um, I'll start with that. Sorry, and that was um, Kemp's Wool Warehouse. They had Maypole back in only one color, which I think was called Ginger and Lime. The color's not on the label, and I notice it's the old style label, or maybe it's a new. I don't know. It's a new, different, different label, and I'm sure it's called Ginger and Lime, but it's coming on here as color five. So. Sorry, all wobbly. I ordered four of those and um, I did a order with Max, my yarn buddy, so we split the postage so it worked out really, really cheap. So yeah, I'm really, really happy with those. I'm really excited to use it. I was, oh my god, my face when it was like back on the website. I couldn't believe it. It's like, yes, more maple. So I'm praying that they get some more in of a different colour. If not, then I might actually pick up some more of this. So yeah, so four of those. Um, what next? It's um, Max's daughter's birthday today. She's two. She's having a little party tomorrow. So I've made her a little diamond. Which I think looks a bit like Arlo from The Good Dinosaur, apart from obviously his face isn't quite so so big. I'll link the pattern for this one below. It's um, Canal Crochet, which is a Spanish channel. So it took me a little bit longer than it normally would to do something like this because it's not overly big. But um, yeah, I had to translate it from Spanish, and I mean, I can, I can get by, but my Spanish isn't great. Um, so yeah, <laughs> my um, my limited knowledge of the Spanish language was tested to the limit with all the numbers. I'm just glad I can still remember how to like count. But yeah, so anyway, that's that one, and I can't remember if I showed these or not. I oh, I have. Oh, it's all there. Sorry, I thought something beeped. Um, I can't remember if I showed these or not, but I made two little owls. Um, my son has run off with the other one. But yeah, I made two of those, and they're a happy belly crochet pattern, so I'll link that one below as well. Um, works in progress. I have started a twiddle muff. Um, they're for patients who suffer with Alzheimer's and dementia. So I've started that. I've tried to do different stitches so I've got a cluster stitch going on and then half double um, granny stripe and double that's American terminology and then I'm not quite sure what to do for the last um, stitch I'll think of something I'm just trying to make it so it all felt different and then obviously I'll put some ribbons and buttons and stuff on that so yeah started that um, started my seventh corner to corner using James C. Brett Marvel. Surprise, surprise, I love it. But yeah, so that's coming out quite nice. Actually, you can see that quite well on camera. Um, on, in person, I feel like I have to kind of look for the colour differences. I really like it, but I thought it would be more variated, I guess. I don't know. But anyway, yeah, so that's that one. I've got one more ball of that purple to use, do another one. Um... And then I have six finished ones. So two of them are the farmhouse maple. I haven't got the label. It's one. And there's the other one. This one's slightly thicker than the other one. Because I, I did this one first and I used an entire ball and then thought I don't think it's long enough. And added a bit 
of the second ball and then obviously I was like well how am I going to make another one the same length and the same width with not enough not the same amount so I just thought oh I'll just knock it down by one little cluster and it's worked out fine so one of them's just a bit bigger than the other it's one of them seven the other one six the rest of these are all seven so the next one is made out of this one sorry so tired <sighs> I haven't slept for like a few weeks <laughs> don't know if you'll be able to see it the light there you go I'll shine it up for you so I'll show you out the window it's just oh the weather is horrible I feel like I need to wipe that. But it's um it's like green and brown shades. I'll put pictures in at the end. I think that's probably gonna be the best thing to do. So yeah, so that's that one. I only had one ball of that for some reason. Don't know why, because it's really nice. Same with this. I think I only had did I only have one? I have it. Oh no, I've got more of this one. This is this one. And this is oh this is gorgeous. I think this is my favourite. It's um <laughs> it's shades of blue um with a little bit of green and red and pink and yellow. Let's see if you can see that. Again, I'll put pictures in. But that's really nice. I've got is it just one more ball of that? Oh no, I've got two more of that one, so and then this is and it's very similar to the last one, but um very, very similar, but similar but different. I don't know, I think it's more it changes more often. I don't think you can see. Again, focus. And then the last one, I've got one more ball of this one. Sorry, I'm living off coffee at the moment, I swear. I can't even have caffeine, it's decaf. <laughs> Allergies. But I really, I really like that one. And they're all so, so, so soft. So yeah, that's everything that I've got to show you. Um, I'm still working on my virus shawl. I'm sick of it now. And I'm still working on my scrap blanket. Um, I've got a monkey to make up. I actually did another one last week, but I don't think I included it in the video. Um, yeah, so I've got another monkey to make up, another set of stacking balls to do, and an owl to make, and then my never-ending granny square that I showed you maybe last month. That is at my mum's, because she's showing the colours to one of her friends, so I haven't done anything on that. I think that's, I think that's everything. I mean, I look around and see if I can see anything. But yeah, that's it at the minute. Um, I'm just going to knock out some more corner-to-corner -corner scars because they're quite easy to do, just sat in front of the TV. You don't really have to concentrate on them. Um, I still want to do some more of the dogs. Oh, I know what I was going to show you. Sorry, I'm just going to move you back. One second. Oh, sorry. Sorry again. So organised, not at all. I ordered these on Amazon a while ago and I haven't got round to doing anything, but I want to do the chicken because I think it's so cute. So I want to do that. I also ordered this one. Can you bring it up? Yeah. And um, I really like the dinosaur. So at some point. I'm a bit nervous about doing these because I've never done a puzzle ball before. And I had to <laughs> I had a little look and was like, oh my god, this sounds really, really complicated. I'm sure it'll be fine. But yeah, so I want to do that. Um yeah, I just want to do a little like a few little bits for myself really. I quite like the idea of doing a Totoro. Um yeah, I've got a list as long as my arm. Oh I bought Erin from Gimme Yarn 418. I bought her down the rabbit hole shawl pattern, so I want to do that as well. I was thinking about using this one to do it, but I don't know if four balls is going to be enough. Um, 
I need to have a look and see how much yardage she said that it takes and go from there because if this isn't enough then corner to corner scarves and I will see what else I've got that will do the shawl because I really want to use like a really nice yarn to do it because it's such a beautiful beautiful shawl yeah so that's it really um I'm running out of room in my yard I don't think I've ever shown you that have I I'll do that in another video it's not it's not as impressive as some of you ladies like I mean Shan's background in her videos now is absolutely gorgeous and well Erin's entire craft room is like the size of my house <laughs> so oh I have extreme jealousy and I can't wait to see Jan's when Jan's is done um yeah I'm in awe of all of your stashes and spaces that you have I always say that if we owned our house we rent but if we owned it I would totally convert the attic into some sort of like craft room slash gaming room for my partner he can have the small half I'll have the I'll have the big half <laughs> but yeah um that's kind of everything that I've got to talk about. I'm trying to think if there's anything else that I wanted to say. Uh, I'm still waiting for some of my stuff for the giveaway to come. Um, it's not going to be a huge giveaway. It'll be probably three to six balls of yarn and then a couple of little bits thrown in. But I'm excited for it and I'm really looking forward to doing the video once everything arrives. But when I checked the tracking today, it was like, oh yeah, it could take up to the end of April. It's like, oh, so if I'd known that, I'd have ordered it from somewhere else, or I'd have just like manually gone out and bought it. But anyway, hopefully it'll arrive beforehand, and then I can actually do the giveaway, which would be great. But yeah, so I'm going to pause the video now, and I'm going to take you to the window and show you what I'm having to look at, and why the quality of the video isn't very good at the minute. So one second. That's my back garden. It is disgusting out there. Yuck. Anyway, see you all in the next video. Bye.